drop your zodiac sign when you tune in. I got Aries, Aries first, and then I got Sagittarius. That's already. Drop your signs when you tune in. Drop your sign. Yes, I got my glasses on tonight. I'm being fucking smart. Don't y'all judge me. Because y'all know everything is blurry as hell right now. So I got my Aries and my Sagittarius. Who, who I got next? I got you, Libra. What's going on, Libra? Listen, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Oh, my nose itching already. Somebody got a message on here. Are you guys ready? Got you, Virgo. Y'all ready for this winter solstice? Y'all Are y'all really ready? Pisces, got you, Pisces. Listen, the world is changing. You gonna be a superhero or a fucking supervillain? Which one? The choice is yours. I'm just saying. So I got Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius. Who we got next? Because y'all know somebody come like, you did this one? Yeah, y'all. If I don't look up and see y'all, it's not intentional. I cannot walk into a bubble gun. I float back really bad. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We, we, got, to be, we got to be in full recollection of our, of our flaws right about now. So that's all on us so far. All right. That's okay, y'all. We got we be having more ghost watches than anything. So my Aries, bring that ass on over here, my Aries. Let's see what we got going on. You in there, Sagittarius, you next. So here we go, Aries. So my My Aries, some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius. Let me see how this go right here. Okay. So it's about to be some justice and some motherfucking ramification brought back to this. I don't know. We're going to see. Because it's somebody that you thought you had a brand new beginning and a brand new start with. You got a lot of love and passion for this person. You've probably been hearing from this person lately too. Now, I don't know if you somebody don't dealing with somebody that don't got fucking locked up. I don't know. But whoever this person is, it's like you feel like you got a lot of love and passion for this person, but you feel like it's no equal give and take. And plus, you feel like they just leave, they always leaving you. Y'all see this? They leave y'all out in the cold. Okay, well, I don't know who got something to say. Okay, that's fine. We're going to cut through to the chase, okay? Because this motherfucker broke your heart. Whoever it is, they broke your goddamn heart. And you've been waiting on this person to come back and apologize or come back and try to make things right. All of that. You see through the bullshit, you damn sure do. And it's somebody trying to come towards you, or either you're trying to go towards another person and want to start this little thing all over. My Aries, it's somebody from y'all past that y'all trying to get the fuck away from. I don't know who it is, but this person, I don't know if some of y'all technically lost a person in y'all past that died physically. But whoever this is, you don't just got there. You inside your head right now. You inside y'all body. Some of y'all could be married to this person or y'all, maybe you got a proposal. You don't know how you want to take it. It's somebody, it's something or somebody from the past. Some of y'all could be married and don't know if you want your husband or your side nigga or if you want your wife or your side bitch. Y'all know how that shit go. It is what it is. Justice is coming though, cause you take you 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 starting out brand new. Some of y'all getting ready to move, maybe go back to school, start a new job. You got options and you got choices. What y'all doing is working on y'all bad. Y'all getting y'all bad. Y'all stacking y'all bad. Y'all watching that. Y'all watching it grow. Cause you see, deception is like you, somebody dealing with you. Feel like all they want is your money, and you holding on to that because they got you fucked up. Now, some of y'all could be in a committed relationship or either living with this person. Maybe they're of a different ethnic background as you, but you see, they full of shit. That what y'all see. It don't matter. It came to an end in any way. Some of y'all got a Leo, or maybe took y'all the strength to walk away from this motherfucker and accept it for what it is. Maybe a Pisces, J or B could be their initials. But like I say, you working on yourself. That's what you're doing because whoever this person is, you know they fucking cheating. They've been doing this shit. You tired of going back and forth with this motherfucker like that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I can't do this shit no more. I can't do it no more. But guess what? They made you step up to who you are. They made you step up and get on your shit and it feel good to be. Well, don't it feel good to be alive? So at the same time, you could be dealing with a Virgo. But you see, you know, you thinking about like, I don't even want this motherfucker. I'm telling y'all, it be like that. Ooh, y'all got a soulmate and a twin flame. God 
damn, Aries, okay, this coming from the higher up. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries or a person that's in power, maybe government official, military, uh, police officer, working in a hospital, working in a lawyer's office. It's some shit you need to see with this motherfucker. It's some shit you need to see. It's some shit you need to see. Wait a minute, let me see. Y'all feel like y'all got something. Y'all can really like, okay, everything going to be good. Whoever this person is, you know they the fucking devil. If you know this person the devil, they the devil. Leave them alone. I don't care how much of a dream or a wish come true that you feel like they are. Let them go. Let them go because you got something way better than that. You see through the truth. You cutting through to the truth. And guess what? By you cutting through to the truth, you getting to the truth. You being true to yourself. This is divine timing. You seeing the truth for what it is. Oh, yeah, son, got to come to an end. If y'all ain't let it come to an end yet, y'all got to learn. When a person love you, they're going to put in just as much as you. When a person, if a person, if a person wants you as much as you want them, they're going to be doing the same thing you doing. If not, that's what you call unrecorded love. I don't care how much we got them wanting. Guess what? We talk to have, be half as love because that's what a lot of us know. We ain't going to say no names. That was Avery. So here we go, Sagittarius. Yes, that was Aries that I just did. Now I'm doing Sagittarius, then I have Libra, then Virgo, then Pisces, then Aquarius. Look, I can't fucking see that. Y'all don't judge me. I, 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 I ain't gonna tell y'all what I did. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, y'all don't have that epiphany. When I say ep epiphany, y'all don't have y'all don't going through that awakening awakening stage, right? Whoever this is that y'all y'all it's it's a person that y'all got that that love the hell out of y'all, right? Damn. So listen, basically, whoever this is, some of y'all could have lost somebody physically. Whoever this person is, this person got a lot of love for you. You love this person also. But whoever this person is, they so they very emotional. I don't know if they got a good they got a good balance on their emotions. But it's like you tired of carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Cause this person here, you feel like this person cheating on you. Maybe the person feel like you cheating on them, but you got a person that's that in this is two scenarios. Virgo, no, not yet. This is two scenarios. Some y'all could be dealing with a person. Some y'all could be actually dealing with a person that, that love the hell out of you, but they feel like you just draining them of all their life force. And it's like, okay, you feel tired of carrying the weight of the world in your shoulders. And then justice kicked in, right? So that made you put your guard up. And you want a brand new start and a brand new beginning. That's what you thought you was going to have with this motherfucker. But at the same time, the motherfucker just keep on breaking your heart. I don't know who it is. Somebody from your past, you keep repeating this same old repetitive cycle. You keep going back to the same old person that keep on breaking your heart. It could be a Libra that you're dealing with. I don't know. Listen, my Sagittarius, it's somebody that you want a brand new start in love with. Like when I say it's very passionate, the sex is very good. It's like it's somebody, it's something that you love that you really want. You had a choice between two people. You had a choice between two people. That you did. Yeah, that's what had happened. And see, one of you figured out, you finally figured out, okay, like, you know what? I don't even know if this shit going to work out or not. Or either you're one person, you've been waiting on that person, that person been waiting on you, and then finally said, fuck that shit. They finna clear it. Some of y'all could be married. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Listen, your person know that you was fucking cheating. I'm just not going to sugarcoat. They knew you were fucking cheating on their asses. And this person loved the hell out of you. This person probably went to the moon and back on you. And guess what? Every time when they ask you about it, it always be an argument. It hurt. Uh oh. I don't know who listening. It hurt this person more to walk away from you than what it. It, it hurt this person more to walk away from you than what it did for you to do whatever you did to your person. But guess what? Now you see nothing. You feeling like, oh, you want them now. Oh, you want them now. That's what it is. You want them now. Sagittarius, y'all want to reconcile. Y'all want to start all over. Whoever this person is, they had to walk by faith and not by sight. They got their guards up. You want to start over because <laughs> they cleared it. 
I don't know, my Sagittarius. They clear this coming from high up. So what you gonna do? Cause it's like it was not. It was. Un, it was. Un, ew, it was unrecorded. Some of y'all had the perfect person, and y'all fucked over them. I'm just saying it's not for everybody. I'm just saying my Sagittarius. That's what's going on. This one the solstice right here. I'm just trying to tell you. So shit, you gotta leave behind. I hope y'all ain't bringing that into this new world, this new life cycle. Cause what it life cycle lasts a long time. So that was my Sagittarius. Here we go, my Libras. I don't know. I'm just trying. I'm just don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying. My Libra, y'all. Some of y'all dealing with a damn Aries. Some of y'all are. Let's see. Who start? Who started drama? Oh, hey, hey there. Here we go, my Libras. My Libras, y'all first card is y'all judgment. Judgment don't kick in. Judgment don't kick in, my Libras. And y'all realizing now, maybe. Let me see. Y'all know this is the first shot. I know the first shot. I always tell you something a little bit about the past. Now, hold on. We coming. I flipped over. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking I don't know who this person is. It's like my Libras. Maybe y'all dealing with an Aries that's younger than y'all. Or if Aries, Sagittarius, or a Libra. I mean, a Leo. Because whoever it is, they could be younger than y'all, or y'all could be younger than y'all person. And it's like you feel like you got to make a choice, right? So it's like they could have the initials of the letters J or the letter B. My, my Libras, you're showing up in your own reading. Pretty much whoever this person is that y'all are dealing with, it's like y'all having an epiphany about this person. All right, some of y'all realizing, like, damn, I'm fucking up. Like, I'm fucking up. I ain't even recognize this Jew that I got. Or some of y'all at that point, y'all saying, you know what, God, God damn, like, you know what? I, I don't even want this motherfucker. I don't know what the hell I was damn thinking. Like, your other person realizing now that they, 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 they want you. Maybe it took you to act like you didn't want that ass or you really probably didn't. Some of y'all plan on moving, leaving. Some of y'all plan on going back. Some of y'all could be like, want to start over, rekindle something. If it's a situation with like a marriage, but it's like you're working on yourself. You're just trying to get your shit together because you're learning to love yourself and you love what you do. And it's like, it's a younger person that's in there that your person could be young you, or y'all could have a younger person and an older person. Y'all could have one that's immature and the other one is more like on a spiritual level. That could be what it is too. So with that being said, y'all, judgment kicked in and the motherfucker that you thought when you, everything, everything that stank ain't dead and just cause it glitter don't mean it's goddamn gold. Cause somebody, y'all want to get the hell away. And whoever this person is, y'all want to get away from, y'all feeling like... Like I said, if they younger than y'all, I don't know. If it could be a child in the middle of this shit. It could be a marriage. But you feel like this your soulmate. You want to make this work out. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. It's on record. It's passionate. It's a lot of love. You want to start something new, but it's not no equal give and take. You feel like they... You look... Y'all feeling like they are the devil. They feeling the same thing about y'all. So what y'all going to do? Shake the devil. Because after the emperor, I got the emperor. This is a twin flame for some of y'all. This is a twin. Some of my Libras, you got a twin flame. You can't even get around this. But it's something that has to come to an end. And maybe this situation ship or whatever. Something got to come to an end because you're stuck inside your head. Because you don't know, like, if it's, if it's, I don't know if it's financial reasons why you there. But you feel like this is a dream come true, but what you thought was a dream come true is getting on your last goddamn nerves and you ready to damn clear it. If that's what you need to do, you need to do. My Libras, listen. You tired of fighting and arguing? Yeah. You tired of fighting and arguing? Some of y'all, if y'all in a marriage or in a long, y'all been in a long-term relationship with um somebody, y'all ready? Y'all finna clear it. It's like... I don't even know how else to say it. This finna come to an end. It's finna come to an end. Some of y'all got two. Some of y'all dealing with two fire signs. One may be older than the other one, and one is like it's a big age difference. So I'm just saying. Oh, thank you. I seen somebody say Gemini. Let me put Gemini on here. I'm a oh, Leo to it. Look. Okay, so that was my own Libras. Here we go, Virgos. After Virgos, I got Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, and Libra. So here we go, my Virgos. You in there, Capricorn. You in there, Aquarius. 
Look, y'all shed, y'all shed alive. All right, my Virgos. Let's see, my perfectionists. One thing about a Virgo man, you ain't gonna never smell their ass. Them motherfuckers got them goddamn cutting their whites right in that bathroom, right in that, that damn toilet stool. Ain't that what I'm talking about? Very clean. You're welcome, Lord. Let's see where this going. I don't know why the song fuck nigga came in my head, my Virgos. What the hell y'all done did? So, my Virgos, y'all dealing with somebody that was cheating on y'all, and y'all wanted this person back. And now y'all realizing that y'all really don't want y'all don't want their ass back now. My Virgos, it's some deception. Somebody don't walked away from a situation that was a blessing hand. It was like a blessing in disguise handed to you. It's something that you probably always wished or wanted or dreamed about, but it's some type of it could be some type of celebration, like a party, like a joyous occasion of some kind. But it's like something y'all said. Y'all something y'all said. It's something y'all said that don't turn this apart. Because it's something it could it could be something pertaining to work also. But it's whoever this person is, it's something y'all was working on together. It's, it's love and passion from this person. It could be a Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Whatever you said, you feeling real bad about it. You feeling bad about it. It hurts. You, you feeling bad about it. And the person that you did it to, they kind of like, damn, you ain't hearing from them. You're not hearing from this person. Whoever it is, they trying to balance the emotion of whatever was said, whatever was done. You want to talk to this person, apologize. Maybe some of y'all got let the arrogance get the best of you. Some of y'all let the arrogance get the best of you. And whoever your person is, they kind of conflicted in their mind. But it's like, whatever you did, it looked like some type of... You had... Everybody got choices and everybody got options. So, if this is a relationship, somebody childish and petty as hell, it could be something pertaining to some money. It could be something pertaining to some money. Y'all took a leap of faith to do something pertaining to some money. Something like a wish or a dream come true. But it's like really what you thought was going to happen. It ain't happening. It's a lot of love and passion right here. So, I mean, like, like y'all got somebody. Y'all on y'all shit. That's what I can say. That's what I can say. So, with that being said, it's a listen. Y'all, listen. Y'all, look. If y'all had a judgment on kick then if y'all had somebody, y'all was wondering about that person. Maybe that's the right person. If there's something like dealing with a, a situation or a... a like a um a family ship. Y'all know I make up words. I'm doing Virgo right now. Or <laughs> like a family ship. I don't know what happened. Something pertaining to some money, a business. Y'all got a business partnership. Something pertaining to some money is going on too. I don't know who's the cross, but make it right. Make it right. No, I haven't done Capricorn yet. I'm doing I just did Virgo, so this is what this is the signs I've done. Aries, Sagittarius, Libra. I just did Virgo, so I'm about to do Pisces. After Pisces, I got Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, and Leo. So here we go. My Pisces, my God fested man on earth. Look, my Pisces, y'all know this when the solstice that we got. You know, y'all know they say they say Judas stole 30 pieces of silver from um from Jesus and shit, and the world went dark for three days, and, and, and when the sun came back out on the 25th, that's when all all the silver was scattered over the tree, that way Christmas come from, I don't know, my Pisces, oh shit, my Pisces, y'all are, y'all are heartbroken by, behind somebody, y'all feel, let me see, let, look, let me see, My Pisces. Y'all little, y'all little theme here is y'all got to let something go. 
Y'all are heartbroken, y'all. Y'all are, it's something that you wish and thought that it would have been perfect. And it might be dealing with a child or somebody younger than you. And that shit is not working. It's coming to an end. A lot of y'all, y'all just want better days and you want this and that. But it's like, you can't even sleep at night. Some of y'all might love the color red. You can't even sleep at night. You stay up all night long. This shit, it got to, cause something got to come to an end in order for a new beginning to start. It's like, whoever this person is, you don't mix. Maybe... If this is a marriage, if this is a marriage, you feel like shit, like you probably an autopilot because you're not really there. Because whoever this person is, y'all don't match. Y'all don't match. Whoever this person is, y'all don't match. Maybe you thought this is what it Maybe it's a child involved in the middle of it. I don't know, but it's like, I see two, like, it look like two sets of couples. Maybe you cheating, they cheating. I don't know. This is crazy, but I'm just saying it's a lot of love and passion here. Because what you thought was a, a wish and dream come true, like damn, I just I, I I told you I ain't want no onions on my damn sandwich, and I still got them onions on there. It ain't no equal give and take when, especially when it comes down to money and finances. It's not equal. It's not equal, but it's enough. Your person may seem like they single. Or like they ain't got a, a care or a bill in the damn world, but the shit comes to an end. Some y'all can be dealing with an Aries, some y'all can be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. But it's like y'all wanna the shit coming to an end in any way. It's coming to the heads and y'all ready to take this leap of faith, but y'all don't know which way to go. Like I said, this could be family with some y'all. You don't want to cut this person loose because you love this person. It's a lot of love and passion, but the truth is what it is, and it got to be some balance. You stuck in your mind and your head on and it's like you, it's a lot of arguments, confliction. You walking with the weight of the world on your shoulders. Like I said, y'all in autopilot. Y'all want to go back towards somebody else. Y'all made a wish upon. You got to make a choice. You got to cut out what you don't want. Some of y'all can be dealing with a Leo. It's like you got one more relationship left in you. Y'all got to cut out what you don't want because you can never. How can you be? How can Y'all know God is. He he, 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 he work in moderation. How he going to give y'all what y'all want? The extra shit and y'all ain't let the other shit go. Hell no. Nah, he ain't finna waste all his goddamn time. Breaking motherfuckers down the sentence to you. You still got the other person hanging on. Y'all just saying vice versa. Because y'all, whoever y'all dealing with, they toxic as hell. This is a codependency. And it's, it's a lot of lies. It's addictions. It's drugs. It's gambling. It's all that kind of stuff involved now. I'm just saying. That was my Pisces. Here we go, my Aquarius. Here we go, my Aquarius. Oh, y'all already got the damn fuck cards flying out. Let me see. My Aquarius, whoever this is, y'all dealing with. I don't know if they're Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, but it's like I see a, a new beginning in love. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of passion. You love this person. This is a deep love. Y'all see that damn card slide? What the hell? That car? I swear my mom be playing. I felt the car hit my leg. Watch when I get up, I'm gonna find a damn card. <laughs> My Aquarius. This could be a point of a person that you do got a lot of love or you have a lot of love and passion for, but this person keep you in confliction. Some of y'all can be dealing with a Virgo, but whatever it is, it really came to a head. It, it really came to an ending. And it's like you just really finally getting it all balanced together. And you about to clear it. You about to clear it. Because this person here, it could be something pertaining to a job. But whoever this person is, you feel like this person leave you out in the cold all the time. And you feel like this is not what I set up or signed up for. But by it coming to an ending, whatever it is, you feel like that was really what had needed to happen. You got somebody want to come back and apologize to you. But it looked like you like, I don't want to hear that shit. And then it's like you're tired of carrying the weight of the world on your damn shoulders. Because it's like you the one go out there and do all the work to bring in the bread. But then they 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 take the credit for it. Yeah, this is a, this is, this is a job with some of you guys. So basically, it's like you stuck. You don't know what to do. You just thinking right now. You ain't making those sudden decisions. You thinking right now. You know you can work with this person, but it's like maybe the person want to start something different. You like I don't even know about this because you ain't playing. They go judge me. You taking this leap of faith. You are bossing up. I don't know what y'all waiting on. Y'all waiting on something or someone to come. Let's see. Y'all waiting on that aha moment. 
You holding on to what you know and what you believe. That's for sure. And whoever this person is, it could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or it could be like a third party intervention. But whoever this person is, right? Maybe it's something dealing with the person got a marriage. They got they they married or something. Maybe shit. Okay, well, you could think outside the box. Maybe it's, you got you got a girl you, you, you got a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever, and they got another girlfriend, a boyfriend, a husband, son that day, and it's on the low low. Y'all know that in the closet. I'm just saying. I'm just giving you choice. I'm just throwing it out there. Anyways, I don't know who this is, but whoever this person is, you felt like that was your person, like a wish come true, a dream come true, because everything that glitter is not gold, and just because it stink don't mean it's dead, but now you feel like it's bullshit, and that's just the truth. Been fighting with this person, you ain't happy, you probably been lying, telling people you happy, somebody from that past coming back around, somebody from the past coming back around that you, god damn, it could be a Leo, y'all, whoever this person is, y'all love the hell out of this person, this somebody that y'all want. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but somebody from y'all past coming back around. They want the same thing you want, so I don't know. That was my Aquarius. Here we go, Capricorn. Getting a dead. All right, my Capricorns, let's see. The Capricorns, I got Gemini, and after Gemini, I got Leo. So, my Capricorns, <laughs> don't be scared, Amber. Look, I got a Capricorn moon, so I think the way your heart feels. But I'm a Leo, so people act like I just really hurt their feelings when I say stuff. I don't know what I be saying tonight. So. So my Capricorns, it's somebody that y'all really love, right? It's somebody that y'all love. Y'all got a lot of love for this person, but at the same time, you realizing that this person not loving you the way that you loving them. So this is probably the person that taught you how to fall back in love with yourself. And you just had to take your goddamn heart out and put that motherfucker on the shelf. Because what you working on, <laughs> no, we not. What you working on and working towards is you got a new idea of making start with some, something that you're good at doing, a business. That's what you want to do. And what you really want, you want that happiness. You want that foundation. Or maybe you think about somebody from the past like, damn, I ain't even think about that. But it's going to be some balance and some ramification coming, rectification and everything else. Because you got to make a choice. Mm. You got to make a choice between the goddamn devil and the man. The man and the boy. The boy and the man. Man and boy. Woman or a girl, age does not matter. When I say age don't matter, this age don't matter. So one of them is toxic as fuck. It could be a Capricorn. They toxic as hell, whoever it is. It's codependency. They lie all the damn time. They cheat. They probably be in your damn purse stealing this shit. They always making up some bullshit. Like, you know they full of shit, but just because you love them, you give them the benefit of doubt. Like, fuck that. You at that point, like, this ain't even no choice. Now, I know what I want. Could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with uh, um, Aries. The other one, on the other hand, is somebody that got it together. They could be foreign from you. When I say foreign, I mean a different nationality than what you are. You want to take this leap of faith towards this person. They could have the initials of P, C, or the letter M. You want a brand new love and brand new start with this person. And you, like, really been thinking real hard about it because I, it's a person from your past. And you, uh, you, it could be a Pisces you're dealing with, but... Listen, it could also be a Virgo, but you've been inside yourself and you trying to, you putting it together. Who fucked you over? Who did fuck you over? Some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? You feeling good, boy. It feel good to be woke, don't it? And you've been trying to balance all this stuff and you just ready to take this leap of faith and start something brand new. Some of y'all could be dealing with a younger fire sign, but it's like somebody bringing that spark back or y'all was dealing with a younger fire sign that you took this leap of faith towards and to find out that motherfucker full of shit and you got to, you had to run and get the hell away from it. But guess what though? They taught you how to love yourself because you bossed the fuck up. You ain't heard it to walk away from that motherfucker. But you had that little bird in your ear said, bitch, if you don't leave right now, I know something. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, my Capricorn, listen. It's all good. You know, you got to listen to that divine goddess sometimes. Sometimes, like, damn, I love the hell out of this person. But it be like that sometimes. Here we go, my Gemini's. <laughs> Look. 
My Gemini's, y'all cussed anybody out today? I love my Gemini's. After Gemini, the last one I got is Leo. My Gemini's, what y'all stuck about? Y'all got some. Y'all say my gym. I say I got one more relationship left in me. One goddamn more. One more. And okay, so y'all. <laughs> My Gemini, it's like somebody, whoever y'all dealing with, it's like y'all could have been waiting on this person to come. Y'all could have been waiting on this person for a while. And as soon as this person came, it's like, damn, this motherfucker, bro, you remember why the fuck y'all wasn't together the first time. Whoever you feel like this person was your soulmate, it could be a Sagittarius, but this person came back around, they want to reconcile with you, right? Some of y'all can actually have a choice between three different men, but whoever this person is, they got, it's a lot of love. And you feel like this person was a, is a wish come true, a dream come true for you. Only to realize that what you thought, what you thought you wanted, you realize now that you don't want it. Now you start, you start to see God's plan why He had ended and stuff. Y'all starting to see, and you want to get the hell away from them too. You want to get the hell away from them too, cause it's like, damn. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who got dreads in their head, and they did you. You fighting with them between it ain't fighting with them, but it's that it's between a baby mama and you. You you got your shit together, and it's like it's a baby mama and you. Whoever this for, you see clarity. You know you got to make a choice, and you know you got to cut that toxic ass shit off. You got to love yourself first. I see some of y'all walking away. I'm just saying, maybe some of y'all realizing who y'all thought y'all wanted to be with. Y'all realize that ain't even what the hell or who y'all want. Y'all don't want this person. Y'all don't been separated for so long to like now they probably coming back around. It's like I'm not gonna go through this. I see God's time and do it. change, change. Time changes a lot of things, doesn't it? Damn sure do. The person I was then, I don't know. They ain't who I am now. So here we go, Leo. Last but not least. They be sleeping on my Leo gang. I don't know why y'all be sleeping on us like that. It's all good. So my Leos. <laughs> this is what we got going on, my Leos. Oh, shit. My Leo, this is what we got goddamn going on. You know, they be damn trying to sleep on us and shit, my Leo. My Leo said, fuck that. My Leo said, I got one more goddamn relationship left in me, right? And this motherfucker tried me, I'm going to fuck that ass up. So, my Leo, what we going to do? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, Lord, Jesus, have mercy. All right, so my Leo's. It's somebody that you probably wanted, right? It's somebody that you probably wanted. You saw yourself build with this person. Thought it was going to be your forever person. Everything was going to be happily ever after. Y'all know fairy tales be all in them damn movies and shit. My Leo said, but y'all know how it be sometimes. Because sometimes we still we got a, a vivid imagination. There's nothing wrong with that. We still Toys R Us kids and everything. Some of us is... Whoever or whatever this is that you thought that you wanted, you realize, like, I don't, I don't even fucking know about this shit no more. Because there's some balance on came to the situation. You like, this motherfucker, he ain't shit. I see that. Like, I don't even know if I keep even playing this off. Now, I thought we could have something. But you know what? I ain't got time for it because somebody else don't came along, too. And you probably see it on there. You probably got a choice out of two different people. Maybe even more than that. But it's like two of them look like they probably came from the past. And you like, I don't even want them. One of they asses. <laughs> my Leo's. My Leo's, yeah, you got three people. Somebody from your past past done came back around too. And you trying to juggle it and you trying to you trying to figure out which one that you actually want. The one that you thought you wanted that you prayed and wished for is not the one you thought. Whoever this person is that you thought you wanted, Leo's, 
you realize that that's not even what you want. You tired of going back and forth, arguing with this damn person. Yeah, you probably had a lot of love and respect for this person, but you still walked away from their ass. Either they had another family thing going on or they had something with a baby mama or whatever going on, but you ain't got time to be competing, especially if you are a queen or a king. We don't compete with goddamn peasants and shit. So whoever this person is, you had to walk away from them. But this person made you, they did the, sh the shit that they did. They made you boss up and learn how to love yourself right. And then you got another person from your past could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You could be dealing with two fire signs. Maybe one could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. One is younger than the other one. The other one taught you how to love yourself. Well, not love yourself. They taught you what love is. Then you got somebody else that don't came around. It's like, I don't know if this is a person from the past or not, but I know the person you was dealing with that you was waiting on. You said, fuck that. You gone. You not waiting on their ass no more. They waiting on you to come back, but I don't think they can see your ass walking off from them. This is a person that always stay they self. They keep their feelings and their emotions to themselves, and they thought that shit was going to work. Uh-uh, not this time, but they really see you as a queen or a king. They really do, and you like you feel like, uh-uh, you feel like you took a leap. You gave a goddamn devil a damn chance. You were dancing the devil's den, and goddamn, you know how to tame that motherfucker, but they ain't want to be tamed, so goddamn, you can't save them. I don't know what to say, but you've been inside yourself, my Leos, and you've been conflicted. You don't know what you want to do, but guess what? You said, fuck that, and you took this leap of faith. And whatever skills you've been doing, a lot of y'all are about to prosper financially. And yes, you got that person that you want that's going to love you unconditionally. They coming, Leos, because right now they be saying Leos heartless. It ain't that we got them heartless. It's just they got them, and we know how to put our heart to the side sometimes. We have to get in our minds sometimes because ain't nobody for y'all don't know Leo's got the eight hearts. It's the biggest thing. Our hearts is our power, but we love, we love heart. We love from our soul. We fuck with you. We fuck with you. You got a friend for life. So with that being said, look, thank y'all for tuning in, right? Follow me on YouTube, Maya Treasure Box. Listen, y'all, this is goddamn winning souls. I'm telling y'all, the world is not going back to the way it was. So I hope you even, you got a choice. You're going to be a super villain or are you going to be a superhero? I know y'all feel the shift. If you don't feel the shift, you need to get it together.